I see you and I meet you with love. Hello, my beautiful soul family, friends, star seeds, light workers. How are you all doing? I hope that you're all doing well. So tonight, before we start the readings, we're going to do a little mini meditation. So the sound should be better because I did finally get my rug. And thank you for the subscriber who somehow I forgot that I did <laughs> for my rug, that I didn't have a rug. And she mentioned it to me and I said, oh yeah, it's true, the rug. So thank you for that subscriber that uh, mentioned that in the comments. And of course, Sandy is behind me, okay, in her little pink bed. She has her toy next to her, which is a little doggy, and her food. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Take a deep breath in. So I'm going to invoke, of course, my higher self, the Holy Spirit, the, our beloved universe, Mother Gaia, my angels, my archangels, my fairies, and last but not least, my ancestors to be here present with the mini meditation. So all you need to do is take a deep breath in. I will do four, four um, interludes for the healing. And uh, with that, it will be to clean, clear your, your aura, of course, your energy, where you are, where I am, of course, setting healing through the chakras, especially the heart chakra at this time for breakthroughs in your life and also raising your vibration. Okay, so let's get started. So my mom and I, Joanina, and of course myself, and also my daughter, we are sending you prayers, light, love, peace, and of course a virtual hug. I hope you could feel that. Take it all in. And again, a big thank you for everybody here that's been with me for a long time. Thank you for the ones that showed up halfway recently or are new. Welcome. To my community of 27 years and going again a big thank you to all of you as well and now let's get started with your readings i'll be right back hi scorpio and welcome to your weekly reading this is from november 22nd to the 28th of 2021 how are you doing my beautiful scorpios i hope that you're doing well and i'm doing well thank you so much for asking you see sandy's in the background there she's sleeping half asleep <laughs> let's put it this way uh so i'm very happy to be here to do your readings tonight and uh can, i'm looking forward to all your beautiful messages and so let's get started with your reading 
We're going to start with the Ascendant Masters, okay? So I will give you additional meanings of the card. take an extra card so you're gonna get two cards Scorpio because that card just jumped by itself without me touching it and let's see if there's another message here for you there we go first card that came out is choose peace so let's look at it together that will be a message for some of you out there very strong message Choose peace. And this is with um, Paramahansa Yogananda, a Sunday master. In this situation, choose the path of peace. As you think about your various options and possible outcomes, which brings the greatest feeling of peace to your mind and body? Question mark. This is your answer. And the additional meanings is listen to your heart's truth. There's always a peaceful alternative to conflict. Your peacefulness elevates your energy and helps you to manifest your desires and meditate and do yoga as a way of attaining inner peace. And the next one you got, let's see what this is about here. Give me a second. We got Cypress Bay. It's time for you to go either away from a toxic situation, Scorpio, or towards something desirable. This card signals that it's a right time to make your move. The conditions are ripe and perfect, and the universe is poised to support your move. Additional meanings is quit your job, leave a toxic relationship, move to a new location, start a new project without delay, take a vacation, and no more excuses. Just do it. Okay, so you got choose peace and go now. The next one is your, let's look at your animal totem card. What is your animal totem this week? What archangels are with you and what is the message being relayed to you? For Scorpio. You got two cards. First one you have is the raven. So at your animal totem is the raven and it's Archangels Ezreal and Bokpi. Prepare for change, Scorpio. And the next one you got is Kinger, Kingfisher, Archangel Bokpi. Be patient and focused. Be patient and focused. So you got the raven and the Kingfisher. Now we're gonna look at, uh, oops, what is your challenge of the week? challenge and what you need to surrender is surrender to complete healing Scorpio it says you're open fully to the loving compassion forces of the universe that support your physical emotional and spiritual healing and now last but not least we'll look at the numerology and I will give you also the meanings of the cards of the, the numbers the angel numbers are coming in for you this week together first card you got is number 29 i am insightful scorpio you are highly intuitive and creative your mind thinks in pictures and you seem to draw information and ideas from out of the from out of the sky a powerful drive to know the oneness of all things number 29 the next one is a master number you got number 33 
I am expanding. Scorpio, any positive changes or projects you are considering right now will be well worth your while. Expect that your power to manifest and create will be heightened. And next, you got number 77, I am brave. Scorpio, it is time to move on from the old patterns, habits, and fears. Now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions. Now is the time to be bold and brave. So if you see these numbers this week, okay, uh, it will be a confirmation of the reading that I'm giving to you. So now let's get started with your reading. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take these cards today. All right, this reading is for Scorpio Sun and anywhere that you have Scorpio in your chart. This is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time for you. If the reading resonates, claim it with all your heart. But if it doesn't, then look at the other placements that you have in your chart. In this reading, I will show you your recent past, your, your current energy. Okay, the Queen of Cups came out. Put it back in the day. Your current energy, your new future, what is in it from you, and the possible outcome. And then I will clarify the cards and spirit wants to clarify for you. After that, after your reading, whatever signs that show up in you after your reading, we'll do the bonus round, heart to heart, soul to soul. And after that, I will give you a crystal card, a sacred geometry card. And last but not least, I will give you our, a card from our universal our beloved universe. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. Our beloved universe. So I hope you stay tuned, my beautiful Scorpios. And if you do, thank you in advance. Now let's get started. From November 22nd to the 28th. Wow, it's like it feels like there's like a quick quickness in your reading, like from releasing something and just moving forward. This is how it feels like. Uh, now, remember, Scorpio, the reading is about you, but feel free to swap the energies around if, if you feel it's about someone else. In the overall, you got the Page of Cups, so there is definitely here a new emotional experience taking place. In the recent past, some finally in the recent past here. Uh, something is coming into uh, balance here that whatever you give you're receiving and there is help from the universe that's coming in that's crossing it with the ace of pentacles so definitely there is some type of gift or money or some type of stability that's coming in uh, nothing is being hidden from you at this time okay anyways that's what they're saying nothing is being hidden there's no hidden factors in the current energy you are vibrating higher okay uh, frequency and how you are uh, you're very, you're, there's a lot of positive here. It's about manifesting your dreams, desires. You have the tools here. And uh, there's some type of action that's being taken place. There could be someone coming in here uh, with uh, wanting to adventure and have fun. Um, but I do feel that there's some type of action that's coming in. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Leo energy. If not, this talks about a healing that's taking place right now in the current energy for you. It's about finding the strength, the courage, uh, and the self confidence in yourself. And taming something within you and in what uh in the near future okay so there you are uh working on yourself okay uh, on your pentacles as well um some of you had an uh, maybe an upgrade uh, or in finances could be like uh, making more money or a position that's offering more money here <clears throat> whatever the case is uh, you have the nine of pentacles where you're very independent and working on yourself in the hopes and fears, you got the eight of pentacles where you are putting a lot of energy in balancing something in your life, okay? And it is coming in together here 
Okay, this is about putting a lot of energy in a situation. And what's being hidden from you is the King of Swords. So the King of Swords energy is someone here that is able to see, okay, um, is able to uh, find solutions to everything. It's about being clear, being focused, very aloof energy as well, okay. Uh, but also a lot of thinking, a lot of creativity and a lot of communication and a lot of creative ideas are taking place. And the possible outcome, they gave me a lot of cards. So I took them all because this is what they gave me. This is beautiful. You got the Seven of Cups, the King, the Queen of Wands, the Lover's card, and the Two of Cups energy. Could be dealing with Gemini, some of you, but there is a beautiful divine connection here. Uh, Scorpio, very beautiful connection here. Uh, it's uh, Don't be confused about it, okay? Uh, it's one of your dreams come true that you wanted, so it's important to stay grounded. And with the Queen of Wands, the Phoenix is rising from the ashes here. This is a very magical energy of this divine union. Whatever it is, it could be a friend, it could be a lover, it could be anybody in your life, okay? So now we're going to clarify the cards for you. See what else is going on, Scorpio. Okay, let's look at the Page of Cups in the overall. Oh, that's too many cards. Oh, wow. Okay, do I have to take all these cards? <laughs> you know, a lot of you are worried. Okay, so the, see, this is how spirit works with me, and you know how this is. Okay, so I... I take the cards that come out. I can't put these cards back. Impossible. Okay, so there is someone here that's worried about something here. Someone here that is spending a lot of time worrying about something. Worry is a waste of energy. It's not going to change anything, but it's going to get you sick. Okay, if you worry and you can't sleep at night about a certain situation. Okay, uh, or maybe you're thinking about someone here and not being able to communicate or open your mind or heart to a situation. What they're showing me is that there was some type of unexpected change that took place in the past here. Okay, so there was some type of unexpected change, and this unexpected change brought you worry in a situation. Now, what else is they're showing me here? Some of you, um, okay, let me just see which cards to go next. Okay, okay, there is someone coming in here, Knight of Cups energy. Now, this could be you, Scorpio, going to someone or someone's coming to you, wanting to share love. There is definitely a new emotional experience that's taking place, okay? It's about, the pages are all about new beginnings taking place. And it's about following your intuition because you're right on target, Scorpio. You got the Wheel of Fortune. There's second chances taking place. This is something that's destined and faded and it's coming towards you. It also brings you luck also around you. Um, this is something that's coming in divine timing with the Page of Wands. So you've been seeing the signs. You've been feeling it. It's a start of something very passionate to your heart. And it's about uh, positive news. And I'm telling you it is. Again, you got the Queen of Wands. It's a Phoenix rising from the ashes here. I call her my Queen of Wands is the Phoenix rising from the ashes. Um, yes, uh, so very like magical energy here that's taking place. So you're dealing with a Virgo, okay? Someone you're still taking time out, maybe. Taking time out. Um, it could be someone here that's uh, just uh, taking time out to meditate, to reevaluate everything. They're following their own path. Okay, and what I do see is the Ten of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Four of Wands. There's definitely here a special connection. And with the Four of Wands, there could be some type of proposal that's coming in or happy event taking place in the home. And the Ten of Pentacles talks about the fruit of life. So this is about maybe a new beginning in finances for you that's going to bring you retirement. Whatever it is, it's unexpected money that's coming in. Okay, so this was a lot of information just on the first card. <laughs> I hope that I'm not going to do that for all the cards. Because then I won't have any cards left. Okay, so let's look at the recent past. We've got the Six of uh, Pentacles. Okay, so let's take a few cards for the Six of Pentacles. You've got the Three of Cups. You came into your own reading. That card, maybe you're dealing with another uh, Scorpio. And you got the Fool. Okay, so... There, there was a lot of interferences in the past. This is what Spirit is saying. Interference, people, places, or situation. And there's like a huge transformation that's taking place here. There's a brand new start. Okay, there's endings and new beginnings that are taking place. And someone going with the flow. 
And definitely something is definitely coming into balance here, okay? Finally, finally, okay? And uh, it, what, what it heralds is a uh, the full card, a new beginning taking place for you. Now, let's look at the Ace of Pentacles. You got the Three of Wands. Wow, you're on fire, Scorpio. Are the Three of Wands here? What else is going on? The Ten of Wands and Justice. You've probably been feeling this from September, October, around that time, and so forth, okay? So yes, there's something, and there's an ending of obstacles. You're not gonna have this anymore. Obstacle over obstacle, something that was very difficult for you. Whatever it was, it's like you're close to home, okay? The Ten becomes a One, and in that, the Ace of Pentacles is coming in with the Three of Wands, and again, something is coming into balance. Rulings made in your favor, the truth and nothing but the truth. The Three of Wands talks about your manifestation showing up for you, okay? And it's about something coming definitely imbalanced and faded. And in time, it's in divine timing for you. So your ships are coming in. Now let's look at the Seven of Swords reversed here. You've got the Eight of Wands reversed. Why is the Seven of Wands? Okay. The Devil, Capricorn Energy. And the Eight of Cups, the Five of Pentacles. It's about how you're learning, how you're understanding for some of you. Some of you could be that you're going through a divorce and you're meeting your counterpart like a soulmate or a, 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 a twin soulmate energy. For others of you, whatever that took place in the past year, some of you were dealing with someone here that, um, you know, was always trying to get away with things, with situations around you. Could have been uh, just, uh, you know, could have been uh, you know, unhealthy relationships or um you know uh, some type of addiction it could have been patterns of the way they were thinking whatever the case here there's no communication and someone did walk away here uh from someone that uh, there was some type of breakthrough walking away from a situation that was toxic or someone that felt left out or abandoned okay in a situation or ghosted or feeling that they didn't have enough whatever the case here what spirit is showing me is that uh, this could have been about higher learning and higher purpose for you. It's about understanding your life lessons. This could have been a marriage also. So now let's look at the current energy. You got the magician. So let's look at the magician. Wow, that was fast. You got the ace of swords. You guys want to talk. The two of wands and the star card. <laughs> wow, the cards are just like throwing themselves out. Yes, you're vibrating higher here. Okay, uh, you're in a good place. Okay, you're... Uh, uh, spirit, the, the divine, even your psychic abilities, of course, uh, Scorpio, you are like, you guys are amazing for that already. But the divine is coming in to give you clarity here, okay? Communication, seeing things as, as it is. And you are manifesting and uh, you have all the tools, okay, to achieve that with the Ace of Swords. And definitely you're, uh, you're making plans, texting about, you know, what you want to do. You're making projects, but there's still something holding you back here. Okay, you're determined, but something is holding you back with the star card. Okay, this is about a healing and a, bl a blessing that's taking place. It's also about you feeling inspired at this time. And it's about something that you truly, truly desire that's coming in. Okay, so now let's look at the Knight of Wands. In the Knight of Wands, you got the Five of Swords. The Seven of Wands. The Queen of Swords. So I got the King and Queen of Swords here. And energy okay so there is definitely here you need to be aware at this time at this current energy you need to be aware of people around you okay people that come in very restless or just come in out of the blue okay just be careful of that energy you're going to overcome it because uh, there is an energy around you still uh, of people uh, you know it could be people not having your back there could be lies or deception around a situation and you're going to be okay because you got the queen of swords okay you're going to be very discerned and that's okay to be discerned uh, and you're going to be able to cut people out if you have to. Now, let's look at the strength card. You've got the Ace of Cups. Judgment is coming in. That's karma in a good way. And the Chariot. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, my God. Well, yeah. Look at this. You've got abundance that's coming in, in the current energy, in any shape or form. Okay, this could be about, uh, you know, uh, unco being unconditional love, 
forgiveness, feeling at peace, feeling overwhelmed. It could be special events. It could be uh, someone giving birth or it could be marriage that's taking place. But definitely a, a judgment is coming in for you. And uh, beautiful healing. And with the chariot energy, this talks about taking, taking your power back and moving forward. You're moving forward. You're elevating, vibrating higher. Okay. Um, and this talks about like uh, taking your your power back it's about ambition willpower this is about positive news some of you could be traveling some of you could be buying a new vehicle here whatever it is you have abundance around you scorpio it's beautiful to see this now let's look at the near future you got the world card coming in complete circle beautiful the king of swords is showing up twice in your reading And the Nine of Wands energy. Definitely, there is a completion that's coming in for you. Endings to new beginnings taking place. Okay, so coming in complete circle. You are working on yourself. You got the Ten of Pentacles. You went from the set eight, the ninth, and the Ten of Pentacles. You're in synchronicity also with the num numerology, I'm sure. And this is about moving forward passionately. And also at the same time with the King of Swords, like I said before, it's about seeing, knowing. Um, it's about uh, creative ideas taking place, also birthing new ideas, but not only that, it's also about seeing, finding solutions and moving forward with passion here. Or there could be someone coming in in that, in this, in, they could be younger or older, it depends. And now let's look at uh, the Eight of Pentacles and the Hopes and Fears. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? But the two of pentacles, knight of swords, the five of wands. There's an energy around you still, maybe of uh, a lot of like feisty energy around you. It could be from a fire sign that some of you are dealing with, especially this knight of wands energy. It doesn't have to be a fire sign, but there's someone around you that's very restless. Uh, maybe there's fighting or drama. It could be ego or jealousy around you in the situation. Some of you are uh, are working, uh, putting a lot of energy in something, but you're being pulled in two different directions. So there's a need to stay grounded. You will be getting an unexpected message coming in. So definitely there's going to be an unexpected message coming in. Okay, and let's see what this unexpected message is. Are they going to show me? What is this unexpected message about? Be careful about this unexpected message coming in, okay? Whatever this is, who's coming in, people that come in too quickly, Scorpio, well, you'll know anyways. I don't have to tell you. Uh, they might be hiding something, definitely, okay? So be on alert. What is being hidden from you is the King of Swords. Let's see this King of Swords energy. You got the Four of Cups. The Nine of Cups reversed. The Page of Swords. Okay, so definitely here there's something that's coming towards you. And uh, you're, you know, you're trying to find a solution around this a situation for some of you. Others of you, there could be some type of rejection, okay? Because there's something that you're not wanting to see, you're not interested in. But even though that this is a deeply a wish fulfillment with you, uh, there's going to be a new way of perceiving and seeing things. Okay, you're going to be seeing things differently, perceiving things differently. This could be online communication taking place. This could be about haha -ha moments, deja vus, creative moments, or something birthing of new ideas. And you you have your angels very strong around you. Now, in the possible outcome, right, they gave me four cards already. So I'm just going to take a few cards for the possible outcome just to see what, you know, because the message is here. There's a choice that has to be made here. Maybe for some of you, it's between two people. Could be a divorce that's taking place and then there's someone new that's coming in that's a it's, that's a divine connection uh not for all of you but let's see why is the seven of cups here with the queen of wands the lovers and the two of cups you're going to be feeling stuck so feeling stuck overthinking over analyzing in a situation you got the emperor this is about a commitment whether it's about work or love it's about setting new rules and new boundaries and the Two of Swords talks about make re releasing, removing the veil from your eyes, 
and there is a, a, a decision that has to be made here. Okay, there is a decision that has to be rendered here in a situation. Okay, someone here needs to communicate. Okay, because they're feeling stuck. They're not able to communicate to somebody here. Okay, and someone here is definitely independent, working on themselves. And with the four of pentacles, someone here is still holding on to something that they're having a hard time releasing. Still holding on. Yeah, still holding on. There's something that's been very stagnant. Okay, and uh, there's a need to move forward in the situation because if you do surrender, you have that whatever it is that you've been putting energy on, you're going to get the King of Pentacles, which doesn't matter if you're male or female. It just talks about being insecure, insecure, insecurity, having being reliable, successful, the King and Queen of the Castle here and energy. And underneath the deck, you have the Moon card. So this is about facing your own fear, Scorpio. You're head to head with it right now. Okay, and it's about receiving what is yours, and you're gonna get what is yours here because it's beautiful. But there's, I feel that there's uh, so you, there's two choices here. There is a choice to be made. Okay, definitely um, overthinking and too much over analyzing about it. Just trust your intuition, and uh, it's about receiving what's yours. But at this time, of course, you may be feeling that there's something. There could be deception around you, uh, not seeing things that are coming to you right now. You're probably in uncharted territory. You're in the cocoon stage. There's a lot of difficult moments. But you are face to face, head to head. Face to face and head to head with a situation. Definitely here. Okay. So this was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be right back with your bonus round. Stay tuned. Hi, Scorpio. Well, I'm back to do your bonus round. But before we get started, you know, I always talk about the planets. And underneath the video, you'll see everything. There's three sites that I give you on Google that you get free bird charts to see what's going on in your chart in case things are not taking place in the way that you want or why are things taking such a long time. Whatever the case is, what I could tell you right now, okay, is that you have Pluto, Uranus, Lilith, Jupiter, okay, what else? Ca uh, Saturn, um, uh, Neptune, and Mars that are affecting your readings at this time. Okay, so now in the signs that showed up, you have 11 signs that showed up. The one sign that did not show up in your reading was Sagittarius. So I'm doing 11 signs, okay? So you have Leo, Aries, Pisces, Gemini. You have Cancer, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, Virgo, and of course, Scorpio, if you're dealing with another Scorpio, okay? So now let's get into the heart-to-heart, -heart, soul to soul. How this is is messages from someone that maybe you haven't spoken to for a while. It can be about anybody in your family, or in you know anybody that you know. This could be about a loved one, your better half, a friend. This is, these are messages that, uh, that maybe you could be giving to someone, or someone is giving to you. Okay, Scorpio. So let's get started right away, since we have eleven signs that show up in your reading. So, Scorpio, if you're dealing with a Virgo, now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to shuffle the cards, I'm going to let them fall, and then take them out and tell you what it is, okay? If I think it's a faster that way, to do it that way. Okay, so if you're dealing with a Virgo, what are the messages? Virgo, okay. So these are the messages for Virgo. If you're dealing with a Virgo, so let's see what the messages are. Your words speak to me like no others can. You deserve more. You're confused. You're envious. You're sadness. You're angry. And I'm trying to figure things out if you're dealing with a Virgo. If you're dealing with a Libra, Scorpio, a Libra. We're dealing with a Libra. These cards want to come out. If you're dealing with a Libra, is there anything else? Yes. Okay. If you're dealing with a Libra, Scorpio. You have fear. I want your attention. You hit me out of nowhere. I just want to go back in time. 
I want to be vulnerable with you again. They're excited and they're saying to wait for me. If you're dealing with a Libra. If you're dealing with a Taurus. Taurus. Is there anything else? Yes, there is. And this card. Okay. If you're dealing with a Taurus. You give me so much to look forward to. They're apologetic. They're feeling triggered. I miss you more than you know. I want to talk to you. They're blocking. They're compassionate. I can't walk away. They're fantasizing, they have guilt, they're heartbroken, and the changes are real if you're dealing with a Taurus. Scorpio, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, Capricorn, Dealing with a Capricorn. Okay, so if you're dealing with a Capricorn, there's a lot of messages here. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they're saying, I am working on myself. They have repressing emotions. They're guarded. I'm ready for more than just text messages. I remember everything you said. They have anger. I am sending you telepathic messages. I've been having weird dreams about us. They're feeling wishy-washy. They are daydreaming at this time. They're calm. No one else matters now. No one else matters now. There is, there is denial and my nerves get the best of me sometimes if you're dealing with a Capricorn. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, Scorpio. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, Scorpio, they're saying, be patient with me, please. You're feeling nostalgic. There's a secret. You were so unexpe unexpected. They're feeling cold. They're excited. They're anxious. They're safe. And I'm sorry I triggered you if you're dealing with an Aquarius. Scorpio, if you're dealing with a Cancer... dealing with cancer I regret how I handled things before I'm still moved by you there's passion I want a future with you if I had only known then what I know now you are old flames you changed my whole direction they're controlling and they have repressed emotions at this time Scorpio if you're dealing with a Gemini dealing with a Gemini. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, they're nervous. I'm overthinking everything. I won't let you go. My karmic story is ending. What we have is soul recognition. They have gratitude. They're feeling really, really annoyed at this time. If you're dealing with a, or maybe you're both feeling annoyed with each other. If you're dealing with a Pisces, Scorpio. This card turned over. This card. If you're dealing with a Pisces. So if you're dealing with a Pisces, I'm afraid to trust. I don't want to let you down. They're indecisive, they're bored. I am making plans and they have resentment. If you're dealing with an Aries, Scorpio.
If you're dealing with an Aries, they're feeling hopeful. Suddenly, all the songs that here are about you. You have good intentions. You will always be my secret love. I don't care what people think anymore. I had no idea you would end up meaning so much to me. And they have doubts. If you're dealing with a Leo, Scorpio. Say Leo's. If you're dealing with a Leo. Okay, so if you're dealing with a Leo, let's see. They are feeling stressed. We'll we will be together again. You are the only one who truly gets me. I don't want to miss my chance with you. I can't stop thinking of you. Our eye contact is insane. You are twin flames. They're passionate. There's shame here, guilt. I am choosing you. I just need more time. They're feeling anxious. They're saying, trust me, I am overcoming my fears. And last but not least, Scorpio, if you're dealing with another Scorpio or this is how you're feeling and the rest of the cards come to you. So let's see. They're feeling stuck. It's hard for me to explain things. They're honest. They're frustrated. They're feeling nostalgic. They have joy. They're distant. They have regret. They're bitter. I thought about reaching out, but I don't know what to say. They're loving. You are hard to forget. You are the one. And they have grief. So I hope you enjoyed your bonus round. And now let's get to the crystals. See what are your crystals of the week. You got Shrysokola. The healing modality is AIDS serenity, acceptance, and inner strength. It helps to heal in arm in relationships. It dissolves negative energy and phobias, embodies feminine energy, releases feelings of, feelings of guilt and brings harmony. It promotes inner balance and confidence. And this is associated with the third eye, the throat chakra, the heart chakra, solar plexus, and the sacral. It calms, cleanses, and energizes the aura, opens the third eye chakra, heals heartache, improves communication, and releases negative energy. This is the crystal of the week. And now let's look at your sacred geometry. And I will give you your affirmation as well. And what crystals you will need for the card. got two cards we got a frequency so let's look at the frequency number 30 intuition and wisdom and your affirmation is I cleanse reawaken and reactivate every cell within my mind body I cleanse reawaken and reactivate every cell within my life body again I cleanse, reawaken, reactivate every cell within my life, my life body. And so it is. This has shown up to you today as you are not listening to your intuition and have blocked messages spirit is trying to relay. It is here to remind you that you are an awakening soul living your life in a physical body. It is time to work on your spiritual gifts that we all possess but have fear to engage. It is time to raise your vibration and create a link between heaven and earth to become more in tune with people and your surroundings. Okay, let's look at this together. While focusing on your intention of awakening your sixth sense and opening your third eye and crown to allow for direct link to spirit and heightening your intuition, use the sound L-A, La. This frequency on the cellular level will reawaken and reactivate the DNA that once lay dormant. Once activated, your life will begin to change in ways you didn't expect. People, surrounding sounds, taste and smell will all start to seem different. And work with the color indigo when using this frequency. And uh, um, 
sorry, <laughs> the crystals that you will need for this is uh, amethyst, phenocyte, damborite, and moldavite. Again, damborite, amethyst, moldavite, phenocyte. Okay, and all you have to do is put 852 frequency. You could put it as a background music, you could sleep with it, it's amazing. And meditate with it, okay? And now let's look at the next card, which you got is harmony, number 40. Create harmonious surroundings, and your affirmation is, I am in harmony with all aspects of my life. I am in harmony with all aspects of my life. I am in harmony with all aspects of my life, and so it is. So when the harmony card appears, you need to... Consider which area of your life is in discord. Harmony can be felt within ourselves, within our family and home life, and within our business environment. When disharmony is present, our inner sector goes into upheaval. We may feel out of balance, angry, frustrated, or unhappy, have an inability to concentrate, and feel like our inner world is falling apart. To bring yourself back to this harmonic state, sit outside in stillness and allow the beauty of your surroundings, the chirping of birds, the patter of rain or the rays of the sun to soak into your physical essence right now to your cellular memory. And you could also play tunes of 432 frequency hertz to help you, okay? And the crystals that you wanna use for this is selenite. Okay, so selenite. And last but not least, we're gonna look at the beloved universe to see what are the messages for you, Scorpio. Okay, three cards out. First one you have is number 31. It says, embrace the dark, Scorpio. Shine your true light upon this earth. This is from our beloved universe. Beautiful. The next one is number 32. All is at your fingertips. What has been created by one can be had by all. This is another message for you, Scorpio. And last but not least, you got number 18. Shine love on fear. Love will light up the darkness. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading, Scorpio. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Know that I have your back and I love you all. And remember that we are one and we are love. Please take care and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.